again and today we are going to talk about these little three way switches just to start very simple on how switches work and how the connectors are wired internally <laughs> wired it's actually so simple it's almost stupid um so let's get right into it shall we again paint i just took a picture here from google and here we have a simple representation of this kind of three-way switch. So you can see we have eight connectors or eight lugs, and they are arranged in two separate sets. So four on one side, that's side A, and four on side B. Okay, and the two sides at this point have nothing to do with, with each other. They are not connected in any way, shape or form. So first of all, let's go through what actually happens at the individual positions of the switch. So in position one, the lock A0 and A1 are connected and B0 and B1 are connected. But again, the two sides themselves are not connected in any way. A and B are completely separate. It's just A0 and A1, B0 and B1 are connected now. On position two, A0 is connected to E2. And B0 is connected to B2. And can you guess what's happening on position three? Exactly, B0 is connected to B3. And A0 is connected to A3. So here you can already see Lock number zero is kind of always active. If you want to, let, let's put it like this. I think it's simpler to understand it to just use that word. The zero lock is always active. And then depending on the position of the lever, you kind of connect a different lock to that constant active lock. And this lock number zero is also often referred to, to as the common. So now, how can we use this to connect our, uh, our pickups? So, let's pretend again. We have two pickups here, neck and bridge. And both of them, of course, are gonna go to ground, first of all. Bam. But now here comes the interesting part. Now, what happens with the hot path of these pickups? First of all, what do we actually want to happen? At position one of the, of the switch, we want the bridge pickup to be active. On position two, we want bridge and neck to be active. And on position three, we want the neck only to be active. So how do we do this? Well, let's start really stupid. Let's say, okay, I'm gonna take my, my uh, bridge pickup and I'm connected to A1 because that's position one, that's where I want it to be active. And then in position one, A1 is of course always connected to A0. So A0 needs to go to our hot output. Okay, so that already kind of takes care of that, right? In position two, we also want the bridge pickup to be active. So let's do something real stupid. Let's bridge lock A1 to A2. So now what's gonna happen on position number two, the signal path goes through here and it's connected to A2. And now A2 is connected to A0 and we're going to our hot. So that's all fine and dandy. Now at position three of the switch, you see the bridge pickup is not connected to lock number three. So it's also not connected to the output. So we're not gonna get any sound from that. So that already takes care of our bridge pickup. Now let's take a look at the neck pickup. So we definitely want the neck pickup to be active at position three. So let's connect it to lock number three. Bam. Okay, but now here's the thing. Well, on position three, B3 is connected to B0. B0 is not doing anything. You know what? Let's bridge that. Bam to A0. So now on position three, we have the signal going out here and in here and here and there and to our heart. And hey, on position three, our neck pickup is active. And as we saw before, our bridge pickup is inactive. So that's exactly what we wanted, right? Now for position two, 
we also want the neck pickup to be active. So again, let's bridge these two locks here. Now let's see what happens at position number two. Our bridge check pickup has the signal going in here and to lock two and then lock zero and out. Cool. Neck pickup going over here and then to lock two to the zero and out. Great. We have both pickups connected now and it's doing what they're supposed to do. So that wasn't too hard, right? <laughs> it's actually pretty simple when you think about it. Now, uh, to switch it up a little bit, let's see what happens if we connect the bridge pickup to lock zero instead of lock one. And we do the same for the neck pickup. Connect it to lock zero instead of lock number one. And now we're gonna have to do a little bit more bridging. So let's bridge one and two on the A side for our bridge pickup. Then let's bridge A2 to B2 and then B2 to B3. There's another way you could do it. And of course, now here we have to go to our hot output again. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, now let's look at our signal path again and see what happens. So, position number one. We have the bridge pickup coming in to the zero. Connected to A1 and it's going out. Great. And the neck pickup is going to the zero, to the one. But B1 is not connected to our hot, so we're not gonna get any signal. Great, so only the bridge pickup is active right now. That's exactly what we wanted. Position number two, this goes here. And here, and out. Great, that's what we wanted, right? But also the neck pickup, we want that to be active in position two, so it goes to B0, B2, and out. Great, cool, both are active. And now position number three, this goes in here, two, three. A3 is not connected in any way, so bridge pickup is muted. The neck pickup is going in here to B3 and out. So now we only have the bridge pickup, uh, the neck pickup, sorry. And you see that also works. It's kind of just, so both, both ways work perfectly fine, exactly the same way. It's just connecting things kind of the other way around. So you see, there are multiple ways to achieve your goals in here. All right, now let's take a quick look at three-way toggle switches. Those are actually even simpler. And here on this picture, you can already see exactly what's going on. Position one, lock A1 and A0 are connected. B0 and B1 are not doing anything. Position two, A1 and A0 are connected. B0 and B1 are connected. But again, the locks A and locks B don't have anything to do with, with each other. They are not connected internally in any way. Then on position three, A1 and A0 are not doing anything. B0 and B1 are still connected. So now when you buy a three-way toggle switch, what you actually most of the time will see is that these two middle locks, A0 and B0, are kind of bent together like this so they already touch and are in connection that already kind of helps us further out when we want to do our whole connection now so let's do that shall we again let's draw in some really shady pickups in here bridge and neck we are gonna get into four conductor humbuckers in later videos for now let's keep it really simple okay just to get the ideas down Again, the two hamburgers need to go to ground in the first place. And now we're gonna connect the bridge humbucker to this lock, the neck humbucker to this lock, and the center locks, lugs, not locks. Okay, we are not writing a diary or anything, are going to hot. Now, let's just take a look at the signal path again. So position one, the bridge pickup is going in here and it's also going out here and out there and fine. And the neck pickup is going in here, but it's not connected to its own companion lock, so it's muted. Then position number two, 
if you remember how it's all connected, then this goes over here and over here and out. Fine. And this one goes over here and here and out. Great. Position number three, neck uh, bridge pickup goes here. And again, it's not connected to the zero lock. So it's muted. The neck pickup is going to be number one and then be number zero and out. So fine. We pretty much got what we wanted, right? Most of the time you would rather see that the ground of the pickups are connected up here. So this would be your point of ground. And of course this would then have to go down here like so. Okay, so it's still the same thing. You still have your point of ground, you have your hot connections. And if you would have a volume knob now in between, you would also connect grounds there and whatnot. So yeah, but we will get that into the next step. Now, just for quick side info, let's pretend these two pickups were humbuckers and you would connect it in this way. Then of course you want the two individual coils of the humbuckers to be connected in series. So you have these two connectors in between. So let's say you have another connection going out here and another one going out here. These two would have to be connected together. Same goes for this one, like so. So that internally the two coils are just in series and then you have one connection of the one coil or one end connection going to hot and the other end connection of the other coil going to ground. Okay, that's it for this video. Again, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something and I shall see you in the next one.